Hello mga kamathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel! Kung bago ka palang sa channel ko, wag mo kalimutang mag-subscribe at hit mo na yung post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. So ito ang kauna-unahan nating video tutorial sa Math 7 at sana ay patuloy nyo subaybayan ang ating YouTube channel. Bago yun, shoutout nga pala kay Ma'am Charmaine Pariso para sa pag-share ng ating presentation na gagamitin ngayon sa ating video tutorial. Magkaroon muna tayo ng exploration activity. Identify the figure shown. So that is a doctor set. How about the second picture? That is a sala set. And that is a jam set. So what word do they have in common? The word set. Next, below are some objects. Group them and label each group. So magpa-plush ngayon lahat ng pictures na igugrupo natin and then lalagyan natin sila ng label. So those are the pictures na igugroup natin. Okay, first group, group of trees. Next group, group of numbers. We have the group of hats. We have the group of solid figures. From a group of whole number, 1 to 15, create three different groups, label it, and identify the elements. From a group of whole numbers, 1 to 15, create three different groups, label it, and identify the elements. Example, set of all even numbers from 1 to 15. So what are those? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. Again, sa example natin, grupo ng mga even numbers from 1 to 15, ano yung mga elements? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So ngayon ay magbibigay pa ako ng tatlong grupo. Una, set of all odd numbers from 1 to 15. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. So, those are the set of all odd numbers from 1 to 15. Set of all numbers divisible by 5 from 1 to 15. 5, 10, 15. Last group, set of all prime numbers from 1 to 15. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. So, how many elements are there in each of these sets? So, dun sa una nating set ng odd numbers from 1 to 15. So, there are 8 elements or there are 8 members in a given group or set of data. How about the second one? Set of all numbers divisible by 5 from 1 to 15. So, there are 3. So, how about the set of all prime numbers from 1 to 15? So, there are 6. So, these, do any of these sets have any elements in common? So, yes. For example, 3. So, it is an odd number and at the same time, it is a prime number. So, what do you think is our topic for today? And our topic for today is all about sets and introduction. So I will be introducing to you what sets are. So set. A set is a collective of objects, things, or symbols 
which are clearly defined or well defined. For example, set of school supplies, set of gadgets, set of primary colors, set of days in a week. So let's have the first example. So clearly defined ba ang mga set of school supplies? Can we give examples? Yes. Scissors, pencil, notebooks, etc. Set of gadgets, smartphone, iPad or tablet, desktop computer. So, well defined. How about the primary colors? Red, yellow, and blue. How about set of days in a week? So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, those examples of sets. A set is named using a capital letter. Each object of a set is called an element or a member of a set. Yung kaninang minention kong example, ang tawag doon ay element. The elements of a set are enclosed by braces. So, therefore, set B. So, ang kanyang mga elements ay 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Kung ano yung nasa loob ng braces, ang tawag doon ay element or member of a set. So, dito ay set B. So, elements or members. So, ganito yung kanyang symbol, pa letter E. So, the individual objects in a set are called the elements or members of the set. So, the symbol is used to indicate that an object is an element or member of the set. Example, Set F, ruler, ball pen, and notebook. Halimbawa, ito yung mga school supplies. So, yung ruler is an element of F. So, kabilang siya doon sa set na F. While, cellphone is not an element. So, ito yung symbol ng element tapos meron siyang slash of F. So, therefore, cellphone is not an element of F. So, therefore, hindi siya belong doon sa my group or doon sa ating set. So, that's the difference of element and not an element. So, how about cardinality? The cardinality of a set is the number of elements contained in that set. The cardinality of a set A is written as number of A. So, paano natin babasahin yung N? Parenthesis A, that is number of A or number of set A. So, there are two ways on how we can describe a given set. So, we can use the roster method or listing method and we can also use the set builder notation. So, what is the difference between the two methods? The set can be defined by listing all its elements separated by commas and closed within braces. This is called the roster method. Example, Ayan, dito sa ating set B, nilista lahat ng mga elements separated by commas, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, that is a roster method. How about set X? A, B, C, D, and E. So, we just list all the elements contained in a given set and then it should be separated by commas and then close with braces. In a set builder notation or rule method, so magbibigay ka ng rules that will satisfy the given set. The set can be defined where possible by describing the elements. This is called the set builder notation. Example. Ayan. Set A. X such, a, such that X is a vowel of the English alphabet. Ayan. X such that X is an integer wherein x should be greater than to negative 3. So, paano natin babasahin yung set builder notation? So, paano natin babasahin yung example A at yung, sorry, yung example ng set A at example na set C? Okay, so this is read as A is the set of all X such that X is a vowel of the English alphabet. 
C is the set of element x such that x is an integer greater than negative 3. Okay, para mas madaling maunawaan ay gumawa ko ng table ng roster method at set builder notation. Mag-start tayo sa set B. So, what are the elements? 1, 2, 3, 4. Paano natin siya gagawa ng set builder notation? B is the set of all x such that x is a counting number less than 5. So, that will satisfy the roster method na 1, 2, 3, 4. Ano ba yung mga counting number less than 5? E di 1, 2, 3, at 4. Next, set C. Ano yung mga elements? 2, 4, 6, and 8. Paano gagawa ng set builder notation? C is the set of all x such that x is an even number less than 10. Okay? Next, set D, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, hanggang Sunday. So, D is the set of all X such that X is a day in a week. So, ganun po tayo mag-represent ng given sets. It can be in roster method or set builder notation. So, null set or empty set. Ayan po yung symbol. Bilog, tapos meron siyang slash. So, what is null set or empty set? So, null set or empty set is a set with no elements. It is denoted by the symbol, yung braces, walang laman na elements sa loob, or yung bilog na may slash. The cardinality on, of an empty set is zero. Example, the set of odd numbers divisible by two. Okay, the given set is an example of null set or empty set. Bakit po? Kasi wala tayong odd numbers na divisible by 2. So, therefore, that is an empty set. Wherein, wala tayong element that contains in a given set. So, that concludes our lesson. So, I hope that you learned something. So, I prepared for you a long activity for you to enjoy and answer so, God bless and good luck.
So that's all for our video tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share it with your friends and classmates. See you on my next video. God bless us all.